Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Collector's Edition 101, Class of Now in Session. Just want to say thank you guys for joining us today. We have a really special treat that we're going to be going over. Uh, got another PSA collection back straight from grading. Uh, this is going to feature the EX Team Rocket Return set. Very, very cool set. Came, back, came out back in 2004. This was the first set that featured the Gold Star cards. So we're going to be seeing a couple of those today. And let's just get right into it. So our first card that we have today is a Dark Crobat. Came in at a near mint 8. Beautiful reverse hollow. Next up we have the Dark Electrode. Near mint 9. Houndoom. This was another cool set because it featured a lot of cards that were dual typed. For example, on this Dark Hypno, he was a Dark and Psychic type Pokemon. Um, definitely made players think a lot more in their deck building and construction. Uh, a lot of the really good cards happen to have that extra edge against some of the weaknesses of others. Um, not a lot of resistance in this set. Retreat costs were pretty low for a large portion of these Pokemon. Artwork was fantastic though. Dark Octillery coming in at a 9. We have a Dark Slow King, Reverse Hollow. And they did a fantastic job on all of these cards, making them menacing looking and very, very evil and sadistic looking. Great looking cards artwork wise. And after that, we're going to jump into a Jump Puff. Came in at a 9. Very cutesy. Had that sweet duality of all that hollow foil in the background. We're seeing all the different types of energies in the hologram, which is amazing and really cool thing. Kingdra came back a 9. Pile of Swine, 9. Togetic, 8. Dark Dragonite, Gem Mint 10. This is a gorgeous card. Very, very collectible. Very, very cool looking. Um, man, that's amazing that we got that in a 10. Dark Muck came back a 9. Uh, out of the EX Team Rocket, I definitely think Dragonite was one of the more sought-afters from this set. Um, personally, I love the Slow King, I love the Steelix, I love Tyranitar. Um, they were all very fantastic-looking artworks. Which, speaking of, here's the first of Dark Tyranitar from the EX Team Rocket Returns. There were two in this set. This one came back a 9. Its counterpart came back a 10, though. That is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful card. Deli Bird, Gem Mint 10. Ferret, came back a 9. Lydian, Gem Mint 10. Magby, got a 9. Mistrevious, got a 9 as well. I'm gonna file these cards away real quick. Grab our next little handful. But y'all know the drill. So, next up, Quagsire came back a nine. Quillfish came back a nine as well. Yanma, Gem Mint 10, gorgeous. Dark Arbok, beautiful nine on that guy. I love the sunset in the background. So pretty. It just blends really well with the artwork on the uh, Arbok's neck there. Dark Area Dose. I think another favorite thing that I, they really did for this set is the way they did the name. They even gave the name the hologram. Dark Dragonair, 9. Second Dark Dragonair came back at 10. That's fantastic, too. Another really sought after card out of this set. Dark Flaffy came back at 9. Dark Goldback came back 10. Dark Gold Duck, 10. Dark Gyarados. That thing looks super cool. Fantastic looking artwork on that one. Speaking of great artwork, I love this Houndoom. They did such a great job on this one. Making sure you all can really see that there. Got the Dark Macargo. Gorgeous looking Gem Mint 10. Magneton. Again, anytime they do lightning, just fantastic job in hollow foil. 
Dark Pupitar came back in nine. And another Pupitar to nine as well. All right, we're gonna file these guys away. Let's bring in the next batch as we move through the rest of the EX Team Rocket Returns. So we have a Weezing at a nine. Heracross came back a nine as well. Magmar. Now I believe this is a set that I wasn't really actively playing the game, but I was very heavily collecting. Uh, so a lot of this artwork is definitely bring back some really cool memories for me. Rockets Meowth. They did such a good job on this artwork too. This card always fools me every time. I always think it's a promo with how well they did it. I always think that it looks like it's sitting on the border and just kind of hanging out. Rockets Wobbuffet. Gorgeous. Cedra came back a nine. Skip Plume also got a nine. Togepi, nine as well. Cubone got a nine. Dratini, Gem Mint 10. That fantastic claymation style artwork. Always seems to show up in these older sets and looks amazing. Another Dratini. A Drowsy. Ekans at a nine. Grimer at a nine. And Hopip, Gem Mint 10. Next stack is done and we're gonna keep trucking through. Team Rocket Returns had a uh, pretty sizable set. I think it was just a bit over 100 cards. So we have quite a few to look at today. Horsey at a 9. In addition to the X Team Rocket Returns, I have a couple other ones, including some Hidden Legends, some Neo, a couple other really cool sets that we're going to check out on some of this other submission that came back. Hound Hour, 9. Coughing, 9. Larvitar, 9. Definitely feels like we got a lot of nines this time around, which is always a cool thing. Uh, I know the last couple videos that we really were diving into, we got a lot of eight fives, which is kind of weird. I normally don't give those point five grades out very often, but it felt like almost every other card was a point five last time around. Magnemite, Gem Mint 10. Mareep. Beautiful little Meryl. And friendly reminder, any of these cards that we are viewing today are going to be for sale on our site, which is ce-101.com. And if you use the coupon code WELCOME at checkout, you're going to score 10% off your order today. So definitely feel free to check out these cards and many, many more. Not to mention lots of really cool products and promotional material that we have for sale up on the site as well. Not a Rattata out of Nate. <clears throat> File these away, grab the next handful, and let's keep going. Remoraid came back at 9. Sand True, 9 as well. Centret. Slowpoke. Slugma. Feel some of these, their foil patterns just turned out so much nicer. A couple of them you really can't tell about that hologram in the back, seeing the light the lightning symbols, the fire symbols, the dark symbols. And then other cards like this Voltorb. Man, they just really pop out. Take a good look at that. That is gorgeous. Wooper. Another great example of it. Zubat. <coughs> and Copycat. Classic staple card all throughout the years. Probably one of the best supporter cards out there. Grab our next handful and we're going to keep on trucking. We're hitting the trainers, which means generally in the set we should be getting to some of those spicy EXs and some of those higher dollar cards here soon. So, Pokemon Retriever, another classic staple card. Same with POW, hand extension. Rockets Admin. 
So, for any of you who are playing the Pokemon TCG in kind of recent era, um, this card might look a little bit familiar if you read it. It says, each player shuffles his or her hand into their deck, then each player counts his or her prize cards left and draws up to that many cards. You draw your cards first. Now, the big difference between Rocket's Admin and N is that N forces you to draw the number of prize cards you have left, where Rocket's Admin says you can draw up to that many. <clears throat> Rocket's Hideout, 9. Rocket's Mission, another well-played card back in the day. Very, very good card to get a lot of draw power behind. Rocket's Pokeball. Rocket's Tricky Gym. Surprise! Time Machine. Swoop Teleporter. Pretty great little card, too. Venture Bomb. Gem Mint 10. Get into some of the energies. The Dark Metal Energy. The R energy. And now we're moving on to some of these really cool old EXs from the set. Starting off with a really cool and heavy hitter, Rockets Articuno EX. Beautiful gem mint 10 on this card. Artwork was fantastic using that blue and red contrast in the art. Um, just really, really gorgeous looking card. That's awesome we got that one in a 10. Rocket Sente EX, another very high demand EX from this set. Gorgeous looking card, got a 9 on it, not too shabby. Gonna grab our next little set here. So, this is gonna be the last little pile here of the Team Rocket Returns. We got Rocket Hitmonchan EX, Gem Mint 10, gorgeous looking card. My all-time favorite Pokemon, Mewtwo, but it's Rocket's Mewtwo EX. Came back at a 9. Fantastic. These cards bring up so many great memories for me. You know, just my grandmother buying me booster packs and supporting me. and You know, just getting really involved and asking lots of questions about the game and the cards and what they did. And what was the good ones, what were the bad ones, had I made any good trades lately. All these cards bring back those memories, and it's just so fantastic. Rocket's Moltres CX. Rocket Scizor EX. Nine on that one. Rocket Scyther EX also got a nine. Sneasel EX from Rocket's Gem Mint 10. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Big Papa himself. Rocket Snorlax EX Gem Mint 10. That is gorgeous. Rocket Suicune EX, Gem Mint 10. That is a gorgeous card too. Very high demand. Very, very pretty artwork. I'm curious to see how many of those are actually out there. Rocket Zapdos EX. That's a gorgeous piece. And time for the big boys. So these are the first time in Pokemon trading card game history that they introduced the Gold Stars. Now what the Gold Stars were, they were basically the shiny versions of the typical Pokemon. So the Pokemon would have a generally slight off color to their normal counterparts. In addition to this, their card artwork would extend past the border and into the card itself, giving some of these cards very truly unique and fascinating appearances. And our first one that we're going to look at today is the Mudkip Gold Star. Fantastic looking card. Um, they introduced the gold stars by doing the set of starters, Mudkip, Trico, and Torchic. We got a 9 on this one. Torchic star. We got a 9 on that one. Gorgeous. Trico star. Got a 9 on that too. Great looking cards. So all in all, we got nines across the board. Beautiful sequential nines. 
Now, when I say sequential, what I'm talking about is we're actually referring to the grading number here at the top. Now, what this grading number indicates is how many cards PSA has graded, and this is kind of like a unique serial number attached to the card to prove that the card was graded through them. If we see this card ends in 5.7, the next one ends in 5.8, and the next one after that, 5.9. So these cards were graded one after each other. They all got mint nine grades, and they are all the starters. Fantastic. Looking to see if we have any swirls on any of them, but I'm not really seeing any, but man, look at these guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. So pretty. And the last two cards of the set, we had the Charmeleon. Came back a nine. Uh, well, another secret rare from the set. And finally, here comes Team Rocket. Fantastic looking artwork. I loved this artwork for this version of the card. Um, this card has had multiple reprints throughout the trading card game history, but by far, in my opinion, this is the best artwork. And that concludes EX Team Rocket Returns. Now, we still have some other cards we're going to be going over, of course. Uh, I believe the next set that we're going to be looking into is EX Dragon. Have some graded cards from there. So, let's just dive right on into that and take a look and see what we got. So, we have Absol. Now, EX Dragon, of course, came out in 2003. Uh, just a little bit before Team Rocket Returns. Really, really cool set. This is back in the e-reader era still. You can note that by those special little barcodes down at the bottom right of the cards. Uh, and what the e-readers were, crawled on, jump in 10, sorry, cutting us off here. Always got to stop for a 10, though. Uh, what the e-readers were, they were basically kind of like little handheld devices that were used very similar to some other gadgets of the time. And you could actually scan the cards, and they'd give you special power-ups and bonuses in the game. Um, flag on, jump in 10. Golem. Got a 9. Grumpig, Gem Mint 10. And uh, those e-readers, I don't think I've really seen them really come up for often, sale too often here. Uh, Minin 10, and a Plusle 10. That's cool that we got the Twins and 10s there. Roselia, a 9. Salamence, Gem Mint 10, gorgeous card. Salamence has kind of always been one of those like low tier favorites of mine. You know, he's not a high favorite of mine, but I can definitely appreciate him as a Pokemon. Always looks super cool. Torkoal. Amphros and a 9. Dragon IDX and a 9. Golem EX in a 9 as well. Kingdra EX and a Gem Mint 10. Latios EX and a Gem Mint 10. Latios EX, 9. So close to a back to back tenor on that. Macargo EX, 9. EX Dragon, 9. Oh, I said the set name. Haha. <laughs> Muck EX, 9. Rayquaza EX, 9. And the secret rare of this set, Charmander. Nine as well. Gorgeous looking little card. So we're going to file the last of those Team Rocket Returns back. And we're going to file these guys away. We're going to keep on trucking and see what the next box has in store for us. So we just had the Charmander. Here is the Charmeleon. And big boy himself, Charizard. 999 all across the board. That's actually pretty cool. Got all three. Secret rare. All in nine. Sequential. Gorgeous. Now we're moving on to some hidden legend cards. We have a Bonnet. We got a Crobat. Got a cheeky little Electrode. Look at that smile. I love this card. This artwork was just so fantastic. We got a Heracross, a Metagross, Melodic, Pinsir, Shiftry, 
Kind of looks like he's dabbing there a little bit, guys. Groudon EX came in a 9. Kyogre EX came back a 9 as well. Grab the next handful, final some more cards. You guys know the drill. Metagross EX, 9. Ninetales EX, 9. Reggie Ice, 9. Reggie Rock, 9. This was another fantastic thing that they did for the foiling of these cards. Both the Reg Ice, Reggie Rock, and the Reg Steel from this set, all the EXs, had this gorgeous Shatter Foil style to their uh, hologram. And man, did they just look so pretty. They should bring this back, honestly, too, in my opinion. Uh, Vileplume EX came back a 9. Wigglytuff EX, also a 9. Got a Secret Rare Groudon, 9. Now we're going to move on to some other things from Neo Discovery. Some really cool looking cards. This gorgeous, gorgeous Espeon came back at a 9. First edition. Beautiful card. Fortress. Hit my own top. Hound Doom. Hound Hour. A lot of first editions here, which is super cool to see these guys finally coming back. Kaboo Tops. Magnemite. I loved this artwork on this Magnemite. Always been one of my favorites here. We take a closer look at this guy. It looks like he's getting sucked into a black hole there. Politoed. Also a nine. Next handful from the Neo Discovery era, we have Polyrath. Nine for card number nine. Scizor, nine as well. Smeargle. Tyranitar, nine. First edition. A little hard to see, but he's just barely there. Really wish they would have made that like first edition kind of white, like the... Uh, like the rarity symbol down at the bottom. Umbreon first edition, nine as well. Neo Discovery stuff still. Unknown A. Ursa Ring. Wobbuffet. Yanma. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Espeon Gem Mint 10 first edition. Non holographic though. Gem Mint 10 on the Polytoad 2. Of course, we're hitting these Gem Mint 10s on the non hollows. Go figure. Umbreon. I think these are just probably the first appearance of the Espeon Umbreon in this set. Super pretty looking cards. The artwork is so great in this set. So, set those guys down. Finish up here with some more Neo Discovery. Unknown D. Unknown F. Unknown M. Unknown N. Unknown U. Unknown E. Unknown I. Unknown O. All of those came back in those sweet eight and nines. Let's see what else we have in store. Looks like a nice little span of some different things here. So we got the water energy from EX Power Keepers back in 2007. Lightning energy. The Psychic Energy. And the Fighting Energy. And then after this, we're going to move on to EX Deoxys. I'm going to truck through this set. Altaria, 7. Beautifly, 9. 
Breloom, 8. All of these in that stunning reverse hollow, too. And if you didn't catch one of my last videos here, we discussed this, um, that back in the early 2004-2005 era, what they did is instead of the card itself being holographic and the picture being non-holographic for the reverse hollows, they kind of swapped it up and uh, pulled a fast one on us. They made the artwork holographic and the rest of the card non-holographic for the reverse hollows. A little bit difficult to tell the difference between a holographic and a reverse foil back in this era, but the big giveaway is definitely going to be the gold and the HP and the name, as well as the set symbol being printed on that bottom right of the artwork. Very prominent, very cool, and the foil is just generally so much more stunning on these reverse hollows. I mean, look at this Jirachi. Gorgeous, gorgeous little card. Makes those stars pop really well. Ludicolo, Metagross, and Mighty Anna. Moving to our next handful here. Ninjask, Shininja, Slacking. We are definitely not slacking today by the number of cards we're going through. Sorry guys, little Pokemon pun humor. Gotta throw one in once every other video. Deoxys. Another Deoxys. I think we got the attack, speed, and defense forms here. Another Ludicolo. Ah, good old Smooth Over Macargo. Fantastic card. Let's you search your deck for a card and then put it on top. So you can kind of figure out what you need for your deck, um, search it out, throw it on top, draw into it next turn, or if you had any draw cards for the turn, just get exactly what you need. Rayquaza 9. Sableye, Gem Mint 10, spooky little guy. Got a Sea King at an 8. Shift Tree at a 9. Skarmory at a 10. Tropius at a 9. Whiskash at a 10. Zatu, 9. Donphan at an 8. Goldbat at a 10. Grumpig at an 8 as well. Lombre, 9. Another Lombre, also a 9. Lotad, gem mint 10. And a Lumitone at an 8. I think we got a little further than I wanted to there before I filed some more cards away, so I'm going to grab our next handful. And I'm also going to put some of these guys away. Make some more room here so we have more ability to take a look at some of these cards and not really muck up the desk. Moving right along in EXE axis, we got Macargo. We got a Manectric. Maskerin at a 9. Matang at a 9. Minin. 9 as well. Nose pass. I feel like we have this whole set in a nine almost. Whoop, just had to say something. Gem mint 10 on a plusle. Gem mint 10 on a shell gun. <coughs> so cool. Gem mint 10. Starmy. Beautiful nine. Soul Rock, nine. Swallow, nine as well there. Weezing got a nine. Looks so grumpy. You want to be a ten. Vigoroth, nine. Bag on, got a six. Poor guy. And Boltoy, eight. 
put these guys away and we're going to move into our last little bit of cards that we're going to go over today. And to tell you what, there's a real treat in here that we're not one card that you get to see too often in a collection. Barboach 9. Not him, though. I'm just kidding, Barboach. We still love you. Beldum at an 8. Carvon at an 8. Corfish. Duskull. Gem Mint 10. Like trike, got a nine. Like trike, also got a nine. Golding. Coffee. Lotad. Magikarp. Sorry guys, I'm just kind of getting in the vibe here. Trying out some of my Pokemon impressions. Uh, don't think they're too good though. What do you think? Or tell me which one you think is your favorite. Maybe I'll try a couple more here in the future. Numel, Gem Mint 10. Gorgeous little card. Fanfy. We're going to finish up EX Deoxys here pretty soon. Poochiana. C Dot. Shroomish. Slack Off. Slugma. Another Slugma. Spoink. Star you. Suskit. Swablu. Taylo. Wingle. Wormple. Sweet little action shot on this guy, too. Zubat. Moving into the trainers here. Balloonberry. Gem Mint 10. Crystal Shard. Got an 8. Energy Charge. Gem Mint 10. Now that we're starting to see some of these trainers, that means we're coming up to some of my favorite things here. Um, generally, the trainers are always going to be near the end of the set, which right near the end of the set is also going to be secret rares. So... And also some of the more powerful cards, like your EXs, your GXs, stuff like that. And now that we're moving into the end of this set, I know we've got some real goodies in store. So, here we go. Lady Outing, got a 9. Master Ball, also a 9. Meteor Falls, got an 8. Cosmos Discovery, 8. Space Center a nine. Strength Charm an eight. Boost Energy got a nine. Heal Energy got an eight. And Scramble Energy got a nine. Alrighty, we're gonna file these away as we get to look at the last couple cool cards of this video today. Thank you for joining us, but we still have a little bit to go. All right, let's look at some really cool things. Probat EX from EX Deoxys. Fantastic looking art. I believe we have the attack form Deoxys EX. Got an 8. Speed form Deoxys EX. 9. Defense form Deoxys EX. Also a 9. Hariyama. An 8. Manetric EX. Got a 9. Rayquaza EX. Also a 9. <coughs> Salamance EX. Got a 9 as well. Sharpedo EX. Got a 9. Alright folks, some really gorgeous cards now. Latias Star. 9. Gorgeous looking card. Card is shooting out of the artwork. Not only that, but we got a swirl in there. Look at that. Let's see if we can get in that swirl. Right above his head, too. Pretty. Got the Latios. We got the Latios. Dual nines for the twins here. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking. 
and big boy himself. Here he is. I was excited about this guy. Rayquaza Star came back in eight, but still gorgeous card. By far one of the most impressive artworks that they have ever done in this game. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. We got Raikos, or Rockets Raiko EX here. And we're going to end up with a couple more EX Team Rocket Returns cards. And finally, Dark Ampharos coming in at a nine. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, we had a fantastic time looking at some of these cards, talking about the artwork, the history, some favorite memories of mine. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. This was a beautiful collection that we got in. Uh, these cards will be available soon on our website, which is going to be ce-101.com. And remember, at checkout, if you use coupon code WELCOME, you're going to score 10% off your order. So look for these cards and so much more on our site. Thank you for joining us today. Class dismissed.